the Leo, Simon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. We'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today, but we're going to focus on you first, and then we're going to jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me, and that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Leo currently view this relationship? We have the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Moon. And then we have the Two of Cups. Mm. How does this person currently view this relationship? The Leo. Interesting. It's crazy how the cards actually came out the way that it did in the order that it came out, which is kind of interesting to me. That rarely ever fucking happens, but let's 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 get into it. With the nine of pentacles to the moon to the two of cups, I kind of feel like these are like phases that you're going through. Just like I feel like these are phases that this person to the right of me is basically going through. Um, with the nine of pentacles being out here again, these are just one of the phases that you're basically going through. This has a lot to do with you prioritizing yourself and your material world and your overall independence. Um, but something's gonna happen, Leo. Um, and I feel like this something's going to happen very, very soon. It's going to come into your life out of the blue. Um, and I kind of feel like what this something is has a lot to do with a relationship. It has a lot to do with a person in particular. Um, I do see somebody entering your life, though. And like I said, um, it's kind of coming in out of the blue. Uh, and, and the main reason why this, this person and this relationship might even catch you off guard is because you're probably not consciously like out here, like looking for love. It kind of looks like one of these, it just looks like one of those situations where love is going to end up finding you, right? So I do see you connecting with someone at some point. Now keep in mind, time is fluid. Uh, this could be something that you're already going through or something that you will find yourself going through. But I feel like there's going to be a person slash connection that's going to enter your life and it's going to be very intense. Not only is it going to be very intense, but I see you guys kind of like instantly hitting it off with one another. Now, let's jump to this person. With the five of wands to the death card being out here for this person, again, phases, right? Um, this person may have recently experienced a really bad ending here between them and somebody obviously prior to you. Um, but despite the fact that, you know, this person's experiencing a really bad ending here between them and another person, I kind of feel like somehow, some way they're going to end up stumbling across you. Um, one thing that I will warn you about when it comes down to this person in particular is that I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like they're going to try to rush things with you. I don't know how you feel about that or if you're okay with that, but... I mean, to jump from the Ace of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles, and then they have the Chariot attached to them, that's a very fast-moving energy right there. It's like, um, how do I say this? And it could just be like love at first sight for this person. I can't go into depths about that because I've never experienced it, to be honest. But like, it's kind of like the moment that this person meets you is like the moment that they just know. Like you're the person that they want to go off and establish something serious, something stable with. I do feel that like this is going to be that type of person that's going to really try to rush things with you. So just kind of prepare yourself for that because with the moon being attached to you, I kind of feel like for a lot of you, you might find yourself uh, feeling extremely overwhelmed by this person and overwhelmed by this connection. So just kind of like prepare yourself now, especially if you're in this stage of just being single, focusing on you and your overall independence, things of that nature. Because this human right here is going to be entering your life out of the fucking blue. Um, and you might feel slightly overwhelmed by this person, to be completely honest. But that's because... It, they're going to try to basically rush things with you. It's, I, I also kind of feel like this person is very territorial too. Like very territorial. I don't know if this person has like a lot of Taurus in their chart or if they're just a Taurus, but they do kind of give me like the territorial vibes. It's kind of like, um, like the moment that they see you, the more they get to know you, the more they're going to start to feel like, yo, this belongs to me. I don't want anybody touching you. I don't want anybody to basically have you if it's not me. Like it does kind of have that feel to it. So they could be very like possessive and 
possibly even uh, slightly territorial. How does Leo currently feel? We have Jesus Christ. We have the strength card. We have the chariot. And then we also have judgment. Mm. The bottom of the deck, we do have the page of wands. And then we also have the two of swords. Then we have the star to the five of wands. So when it comes down to this person in particular, you're going to find yourself kind of experiencing this right here, where you're going to find yourself kind of questioning the connection in itself, possibly even questioning this person's like true intentions when it comes down to you. I feel like the more you actually get to know them, the more you're going to find yourself really liking this person, the more you're going to start to look at the situation like, hmm, this could be a little bit too good to be true. So you might find yourself experiencing that throughout your involvement with this person, with the strength card to the chariot to the judgment card being out here. I don't even feel like this is you. I feel like this is this person that you currently find yourself connecting with. Again, it's kind of like that. God, how do I explain it? It's like, oh, Jesus. Like, I just, there's no way that this person's not fucking territorial. There's no way that this person's not possessive by any means. Because, again, it's like, um... That they're, they're really coming in to your life and into this relationship, kind of ready to get this ball rolling. It's like they're not fucking wasting time. You know what I mean? So just keep that in mind, Leo, that I feel like even though you're going to find yourself really liking this person and really liking your relationship with this person, they are going to try to move very fucking quickly, very fucking quickly. I mean, like if you blink, you know, the next thing you know, you're walking down the fucking aisle with this person. Like, that's how fast this person's basically moving. Like, they're not wasting any fucking time when it comes down to, like, what they want with you and the life that they want to create with you, which is nothing bad, okay? I don't want to freak anybody out. It's nothing bad. It's just, like, I'm kind of looking at this person like, well, what the fuck is a rush, man? Like, that's kind of how I'm looking at this person, but that could just be because I'm a Virgo. I believe taking things extremely fucking slow so maybe that's what it is i don't know but it's like i'm kind of looking at them like whoa like what the hell is the rush calm down you know what i mean we have all day to this person not really they just don't operate that way they just they're just kind of looking at you like i know i want you i know i want this that and the third with you let's make this happen like today so yeah then there's that then there's that but I kind of feel like this person, for the most part, just wants you to basically give them and this relationship with them a chance, especially because you're going to find yourself kind of looking at this person like, whoa, like, relax. You know what I mean? We have all fucking day, you know, or you might find yourself kind of feeling like this is a little bit too good to be true. So there might even be like a little bit of pushback coming from you. Um, hence why they're kind of coming across like, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Okay, we get it. Uh, how does this person currently feel? Interesting. I want to I wanna dive into this person's past just a little bit because it keeps fucking showing up here. For whatever odd reason, it just keeps showing up this person's past. We got the three of swords to the moon to the wheel of fortune. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's kind of strange that this person's past keeps showing up. I kind of feel like, um, how do I say this? I kind of feel like in a way, Leo, this relationship and basically you have really impacted this person's life in a very positive way. I also kind of feel like this person has a tendency of like comparing whoever it is that they were once upon a time involved with to the relationship that they share with you. And if that is the case, it is like complete night and fucking day. Okay, that's one thing that I will say. It's like night and day. Like you're nothing like this person's past. And that could also play a big role in why this person's moving the way that they're basically moving here. But to be honest, I kind of feel like it's just their possessive nature, uh, their territorial nature. Um, that that's kind of like that plays a big role in why this person's moving the way that they're moving. Again, it's not a bad thing. I just kind of feel like, you know, well, what the fuck is a rush here? But I want to look into this person's past just a little bit. Um, tell me more about the Three of Swords and the Moon. Oh, okay. Got it. 
yeah, okay, makes sense. We got the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the King of Wands, come here, with the Moon, and then we also have the Page of Cups. So there's that double confirmation when it comes down to what I already essentially said, you know, like, I kind of feel like through this relationship and through this connection, it is kind of causing this person to essentially realize that they may have wasted a lot of time um, into the wrong person. So that kind of contributes again as to why this person could very well be moving at a very fucking quick pace here when it comes down to you. But it's weird because I feel like this person thought that the person that they were once upon a time connecting with is what they essentially wanted. And through this connection, they're starting to realize, oh no, like that's not what I actually want for myself. This is what I want for myself. You do make this person very happy. That's one thing that I will say. With the Sun to the Nine of Cups, you make this person very, very, very happy. I also kind of feel like this person's very vocal about how they feel about you. And with the Seven of Pentacles being out here, it's like this person doesn't feel like they're wasting their time when it comes down to you. They actually feel like all the time and energy that they're putting towards this relationship that they share with you and what it is that they want to create with you is actually worth it. Okay, I like it. I like it. What actions will Leo take towards this person or moving forward? All right, let's see what's going on with you, Leo. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords with the Knight of Cups. So the Eight to the Seven creates an Ace of Swords, basically insinuating that you don't fully trust this situation or this person that's currently trying to pursue you. You just don't trust it. There's something about this person that you're just like, mm, I don't know about them. I don't really know about them. What actions... We have the Magician. We also have the Four of Swords. Come here. And then we have the Eight of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Wands. And then we also have the Judgment card. Okay. So when it comes down to this whole entire relationship here between you and this person, I do kind of see you kind of confessing to this person that you don't fully trust them. Uh, by any means and that could have a lot to do with the simple fact that this situation between you and them might look a little bit too good to be true um, and because it might look a little bit too good to be true you might even go as far as to tell them that because I do see you communicating the simple fact that you don't fully trust this entire situation obviously you're going to use your own words to kind of just you know have that conversation with this person but it's roughly along the lines of like you know, I think that you're a really good person. I really appreciate everything that you do for me. I really like this relationship, but I don't know, man. It's like, I just, I just don't fully trust this entire situation. I don't know what the fuck it is. I just don't fully trust this entire situation here. Um, so this is where we kind of see their reaction to it all. We have the Eight of Swords to the Four of Swords. And then we also have the Magician with the Judgment card to the Ten of Wands. I kind of feel like this person's a little bit... Um, dumbfounded yeah that's that's the right word they feel a little bit dumbfounded by your reaction towards them hopefully that makes sense you know because again in this person's mind they just kind of feel like they're doing everything that they could possibly do on their end to basically show you that they're serious about you and show you that they're willing to kind of put in the work and kind of do whatever it takes for this relationship so they're not entirely sure where all of this is kind of coming from let's look a little bit more into that tell me more about the eight of swords yeah so to them it's like by you stepping forward and saying hey listen i think you're a really good person i really do like you and what we share blah 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 but I don't know, man. There's just something about you. There's just something about this that I don't trust. I don't know what the hell it is, but that's just kind of how I feel, right? That's kind of like roughly what you're telling this person. Not word for word, but you know what I mean. This person's going to find themselves completely fucking dumbfounded. Why? Because they feel like they've done nothing but show you that they really do want you and want this relationship with you. So they don't really fully understand where all of this is coming from. Keep in mind too, Leo, that all of this could very well just be foreign to you. Remember, you have the moon attached to you. So all of this could very, very well just be foreign to you. Maybe you're not accustomed to like dealing with people like this. It could just be that simple, but that doesn't necessarily make this person a bad person, nor does that mean that there's more to this story. You know what I mean? But I do feel like this conversation that's going to transpire here between you and them, it is going to slightly leave them dumbfounded because in their mind, they're just like, okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. Like, 
I'm consistent with you. I try to show you that I really do love you, that I really do care about you, that I really do want this. Where the hell is this shit coming from? In other words, they just want to fully understand where all of this is coming from and why you feel the way that you feel. But with the Eight of Swords to the Seven of Swords, you don't even know why you feel that way. You just feel that way. So you're just kind of running with it. You know what I mean? Just be careful with that. Just be very, very careful with that. Um, because again, it's like you're, you're, you're stepping forward, basically saying that, well, I don't know, man, there's just something about you that I just don't trust. I don't know what the hell it is, but that's just kind of how I feel. I think you're a great person, you know, but I don't know. There's just something about this that I don't necessarily trust, but you don't even know why you don't trust it. And that's kind of making me feel like this person hasn't given you a reason to not trust them. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. But I feel like in time. I feel like in time, Leo, the more you like get to know this person, the more you continue to build this bond here with this person, you'll start to basically see that you don't necessarily have anything to worry about. Is it going to be a smooth ride? Not for you. No, I don't see it being like a smooth ride for you. I don't because there's going to come a moment in time where the more you get to know this person, the more you're around this person, the more you're going to start to fall for this person. And the more you start to fall for this person, the more scared you're going to start to become. But I feel like this is one of those situations, Leo, where you're just not accustomed to dealing with someone like this. And it's just that simple. I don't feel like there's more to the story here, um, especially because of their reaction towards all of this. You know what I mean? Like, I would just expect another reaction out of this person. You know, I would, I just would expect another reaction out of them. And I'm, I, I didn't get that from them. Like, that's like, if you were to, if you were to approach this person and say, Hey, listen, you know, I, I don't know. There's something about you that I just don't trust. Something's going to end up showing up on their end to confirm why you don't trust them. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything that they've specifically told you or anything, but it would have showed up on their end, but it's not showing up on their end, which is making me feel like this person doesn't have anything to hide. There is nothing more to this story, to be completely honest. Hence why they kind of find themselves feeling extremely dumbfounded by you basically saying that you don't necessarily trust this entire situation because in their mind, they it just, they don't understand like why. If they're doing this, that, and the third for you, why do you feel the way that you feel? You know what I mean? Um, but at the bottom of the deck, what's interesting is that you have trust. You have trust and then you also have retreat. What's really kind of causing you to kind of be on the fence about all of this is your lack of trust, honestly, towards this whole entire situation, how things are playing out. I feel like things are playing out a little bit too good is what it is. Hence why I feel like some of you are going to find yourself looking at this whole entire situation like it is too good to be true. But my best advice is to just go with it. Take it day by day. Stop worrying about the what if this and what if that. And don't sit there and worry about that. You know, just take it day by day. Enjoy this connection with this person because it's pretty evident that they really do want to be with you. And they're willing to kind of at this point do want to say whatever it fucking takes to make this relationship work here between you and them. And I feel like eventually it'll speak volumes to you um, because I see that eventually happening at some point throughout your relationship. But just, just be mindful that, you know, when you do kind of find yourself becoming extremely invested into this connection and this person, you're going to find yourself getting scared. I feel like that's for the most part, pretty normal to experience. Um, but let's see the overall advice. For Leo. Alrighty. So, this is one card that I do want to read out loud for you. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I kind of feel like that's kind of like the root of the problem here is that this person is very different from what you're accustomed to dealing with. The same applies for this person. The only difference, right, is that this person's clearly looking at you like you're very different from what they're accustomed to dealing with, hence why they're moving the way that they're moving. You, on the other hand, you're very different from them because, yes, this person might be different than what you're accustomed to dealing with, but you're just like, wait a minute, I don't trust it. You know what I mean? Um, so that's really like the main difference between you and this person. But we have made the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. It's basically just saying to go for it. Then we also have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. In other words, this overall energy that you find yourself in questioning, like, 
you know, I don't know, can I fully trust this? And can I actually trust them? And is this whole situation too good to be true? It's basically saying, stop doing that. Just go with the flow. Take it day by day um, and enjoy this connection. Don't worry about shit. You know what I mean is basically what it's saying. Um, and I kind of feel like once you start to like, you know, just let go of your doubts, let go of your what ifs and just kind of see what this person has to essentially offer you then you'll be able to really see this person's true intentions when it comes down to you, which I genuinely do feel like it's nothing but good intentions, but it does kind of require you to kind of give in to see that. That's the only thing. It does kind of require you to give in to see this person's true intention slash motives towards you, and I don't feel like it's a bad thing. All right, so that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully this reading helped. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram username is Milagros Tarot. No numbers, no underscores, no backup accounts. Just Milagros Tarot. It's also linked in the description box down below. But that's what I have for you, and hopefully it helped. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.